Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do Adrasam. For this, I'm going to use uh, jaggery and rice flour. Two ingredients, main ingredients. And this is store-bought rice flour. All the ingredients are at the end of the uh, video. So I'm going to mix the uh, rice flour with some water. I'm going to... That's the uh, jaggery powder. I'm going to make syrup out of the jaggery powder. And I'm now I'm going to mix uh, the rice flour with some water. I'll do in like a rubbing in method. So like uh, onto the uh, rice flour itself. Make it until you yeah see this consistency breaking up. So once you are satisfied with the texture, I'm going to sieve it in this kind of strainer. This strainer is not too thin. It's quite a big kind of a strainer. So this is to help the flour to uh, be like a powder form. Since I'm using the uh, flour, I have to make this kind of a texture. I find this is easier to do. So I'm going to add in uh, ginger powder and uh, cardamom powder into this recipe and a little bit of salt. I'm going to add in 200 ml of water to this uh, 180 grams of jaggery powder. In a, at this moment, I'm using a slightly high heat, so about 2-3 minutes, then I will bring down to a, a medium heat. So you can see that it's thickening. So this is like showing you it's going to be thick. So you see that it's, it's becoming thick. So I'm going to test the jangri, uh, the syrup. So it's almost there. So you see uh, that kind of texture. When you move your spatula, you can see the uh, separation of the uh, so uh, mixture so I'm gonna test you see you see the lump like that ah, that is good that is already good so you can switch off your stove and start putting in the uh, oh sorry I am putting in the all the uh, uh, cardamom ginger and salt and now the ghee so slowly switch off your stove and then slowly incorporate the uh, rice flour that you mix earlier make sure you stir them and incorporate well at this point you don't have to worry that if the uh, texture is like too thick or what because uh, I realized that this recipe it was a bit thick. I set it aside for two days and it turned out very well. What I got to know is that you must make sure when you're frying the uh, dough, the heat has to be very low. In the beginning, it should be in the middle, medium, and then slightly lower back, the heat very low. So you see the texture? Don't worry, don't, don't have to be very... Uh, 
uh, slightly watery. So this lump is already good enough. For two days later, it was was well. So I'm going to see the lump there is a bit thick. I know some of you would want it to be like dropping more, but this was good. So I'll show you the process. So I'm going to transfer into a new bowl and uh, uh, rubs a little bit of uh, ghee. About uh, I put in about one teaspoon. So you make sure that whatever you put, it, it covers the top of the uh, dough and it shouldn't be like not covered at all. So I, I think I use about two teaspoons. So depending on what kind of uh, uh, pot you're using to cover and set aside. So this is going to be, I'll, I'll be back in uh, two days. So it's been two days actually, yep. And now I'm going to fry in this iron wok. Okay, this is how it is. I can see my finger, I press it and see. So yeah. I've used my palm as a, you know, like uh, putting in the, uh, making the dough, the butter form. So I, as I put in some ghee on my palm, or you may put ghee or even uh, oil. I'm frying in a uh, peanut oil. So this is how I do. I use my palm and the side of my hand to do the whole. I don't like to see my finger, to use the fingers. So I use the uh, side of my thumb area. So I'm just showing the process so that you may see. That's why I'm repeating a few times on this. So I'm showing in a more clearer kind of a walk to let you see how it goes. So you see, you just drop it in. So yeah, make sure the heat is not high. It turned out very well. So this is the uh, end result. Try, let me know in the comment. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next upload. Bye.